facts again at, uh, in greater detail. Um, have we got anything else that we want to have a quick look at while we're uh, on the subject of quick little tips? Well, one thing I've been working today, I'm going to do an interview with a, uh, a person who wrote a book about Puppet, which is a really nice tool that's extremely widely used. Uh, of course, there is also the uh, news about Chrome OS uh, coming out, and I, I think that's going to be very helpful to Linux, uh, the exposure of a Linux-based distribution or whatever. So more, many more people will be using Linux in years to come, but you know, don't don't Google the word Linux because if you look at the the, the, the use of the word Linux in the, in the web, uh, it's the wrong word to be searching for. People search for Android, they search for Ubuntu, TomTom, Tom, and uh, what else? Uh, IBM, Mainframe, Z series, you know, things like that, which incorporate Linux, but Linux is not the the brand. And perhaps people also realize the operating system to call the Android phones is not Linux, it's just Android. But, yeah, I suppose that's fair in some ways. You just have to remind people it's actually free software, uh, open source software, and contains Linux in, inside of it as well. So all these people say, oh, Linux is going nowhere, you know, you just have to remind them. No, 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 it's growing really fast. It's the number one platform of phones, and uh, uh, it's expected uh, pretty much. So of course, we've. Uh, did you hear about the GIMP 2.6 cookbook? And 2.8 apparently is going to come up pretty soon. Do you use the uh, the GIMP for? No, no. Um, what what no. do you use if you are to? Yeah. I don't actually. Uh, to be to be fair, I don't actually have any uh, graphical editing needs at all. Um, I'm not an artist and never have been. Uh, my digital photographs that I uh, take are. I can modify on the camera myself, and I have no real need for graphic package. I have the bog standard image viewer that comes packaged with whatever distro I'm using. Um, I have had a look at GIMP. It's one of those things I'd like to be able to use, and uh, I've had a look at it, and it's it's certainly it's full of features. It's uh, I nearly said the word feature rich, which is one of my uh, pet hands, but it, it's full of features. But I just don't have the time uh, to justify um, using it to learn it, and so really maybe I, I could have a have a, a useful just basic uh, brightness and contrast correction on, on a picture that I've taken maybe, but it's very, very limited. And I tend to just dump all the photographs once I've finished editing on my phone, on my camera, and just throw them onto a disc and don't really bother. I don't even bother with um, image managers either, I don't see the point in them. But um, I just throw everything onto a DVD. No, I do have a point. I, I probably expect that. Uh, depends on how people base the organized information, what information they have, and uh, you know, I, I have to do lots of editing work because the research I do is to do with imaging. So, yeah. I is it, I mean, well, actually, it's actually something I do for a living. So, I have to produce figures and things, and actually, it's work. it's it's all dependent on the on the specific, on the individual user. But I mean, this is my argument for these image managers, which you can have all these tags on your photographs, you can organize things by day and by event or whatever. But this is how I do it. I'll have a, made my son's birthday, and all the photos from my son's birthday will be in a folder. Um, Daniel's birthday, 2011. And that'll go on the disc, and that's organised enough for me. I don't need any more tags, or if we go on holiday, holiday to pool, or holiday to Spain, or whatever. And yeah, they'll that's be in the a folder. Idea of actually trying to network the images so yeah, people I don't can access need, them. Yeah, you see, I don't need to put them onto tags. I don't want other people to access them. I just want a backup copy on a disc instead of having a photo, instead of having a photo album stuffed in the drawer somewhere where the pictures will fade after X amount of years. So, and the only other thing I do with my photos is every, about every year or so, I'll, uh, I'll, Re- back them up onto another disc with a, the latest batch of photographs, and it just continued that. And I haven't yet run uh, run out of space uh, on the DVD that I'm using. So yeah. that's that's all my photo. Uh, that's yeah, all my... If, if if all your files fit into a DVD, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I'm quite fussy with photographs, and I don't believe in keeping uh, mountains and mountains of the same shot or ones that don't come out quite right. If it's not a decent shot, it doesn't stay. So I tend to have very small folders say birthdays and holidays which are very good or in my opinion very good photographs so I, I don't have any need for these this photo also, but make sure you uh, give a copy of the DVD to somebody you know who leaves somewhere else just yeah, well, so oh. want to, uh, you see I'm very so organized just, just, just <laughs> think about yeah. the situation where you have a fire or something no this is this is how I organize it it's uh, I'm quite quite impressed with myself for doing this because what happens is like say every year or so the new images that are stored maybe not a year maybe less than that I will put onto the disc um, I will back up obviously the previous 
the previous DVD from the, from the last year will be copied onto my hard drive. I'll copy all the files onto a new disc, and the old disc will go to a relative who will have a relatively up-to-date disc copy of the disc, and then they keep getting upgrades to the disc, and then at least I've got the worst-case scenario if I had a fire or whatever. I would lose a couple yeah. of months of pictures at worst. You, you um, could very easily encrypt that if, you, if necessary. If you have personal files in there, you could just encrypt that. But, so. um, I mean, like I say, it's pretty generic stuff, and it's not yeah. particularly exciting. It's just birthdays and special... And like I say, I've got no interest in putting tags on my photographs and storing them, organising them in meticulous... Because some people, I've certainly got friends who've got their photographs meticulously organised as to events and things like that, and it's just, I've got no need for that. So uh, for me, that's not really a, a draw. I think some people used to even organise photos of places they've been. Uh, and that was many years before we had things like Google Street Map, uh, Google Earth, all kinds of stuff. So a lot of the work they were doing, trying to photograph and to catalogue, their environment was kind of futile. Uh, they have uh, even historical data of things of basically they can just travel around their neighborhood. Uh, they can get pictures uh, geotagged uh, around their area to actually watch Flickr and to watch galleries based on on the coordinates from the satellite. So you, you come them to and ask them, you know, you've organized all these collections of photos based on location, but you don't, we don't need that. We already have it from a big supplier. Uh, and that shows you you need to have foresight to think ahead. Uh, will you will you be basically doing work that in a matter of ten years uh, will not be of much use? If you take many photographs and you make those old photo albums, I mean, how many people will ask to see your photo album? Many of them will be very lazy, and the photos in general are losing value because there are too many of them. So the scarcity in photos. I mean. Look, look at the kids these days. I mean, how many pic- how many photos do the parents take of their kids today compared to say, you know, they even delete yeah. lots of them because just too many of them. In way back in the days, I mean, when I look at my childhood, I maybe had like, uh, let's say, up till the age of six, maybe I had like 300, 400 pictures, photos, and that's it. That's that's the whole six years of that kid. Uh, and these days, it's probably thousands upon thousands yeah. of videos, and your friends have got photos of your kid too, and they can share it. And yeah, it's, it's everywhere, so that's the thing about photos. But anyway, let's uh, going back to the subject of Linux, I, I want to say something about Fedora 15, because I've been reading reviews about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I almost felt hesitant putting the hashtag out of Fedora, because they might think I'm trying to troll them or something, especially if I put the exclamation point for you know, put it into the group. Because some of the reviews I see of Fedora I kind of mix them. I don't see many good raves and you know they have all these flavors, uh, LXDE review and uh, I am seeing the KDE reviews. Actually the KDE review seems seems to be reasonably okay, but uh, the GNOME 3 version the people keep complaining about some things in it. Uh, I was hoping Fedora fifteen was going to turn out to be uh, very welcome, especially in light of what uh, Canonical had done with uh, Unity. Now, I'm not saying they did something bad, I'm just saying uh, many people who used Ubuntu weren't too happy with what happened. And now they have a new logo for the power users group or whatever it is they do in Canonical, trying to bring back the hardcore users. But uh, that's about Fedora. So, Fedora 15, if you consider downloading that, it seems like it, to, just to be frank, it, it doesn't seem like it's a perfect release. It seems like they do have some real issues still to have to work on. Uh, and then there is Mint, which is the other distribution which sticks with GNOME, uh, which has a lot of users uh, and doesn't go with something like Unity. So, uh, Mint, the release of Mint 11, I think, uh, yeah. 11 was the latest. So, that's supposed to be uh, a, a kind of like Ubuntu 11.04 uh, without the without GNOME 3, which you can find in Fedora 15, and also without Unity, which you would find in uh, Ubuntu. So, uh, have you had any experience experiences? Yeah, yeah I mean, I um, I've actually got it running at the moment. Um, just just out of curiosity, Mint was one of those ones that I never really got around to trying for any considerable period of time, and it's. <sighs> It's very difficult for me to to give a sort a, a proper review on this because uh, I normally like to have it written down first. Um, I found a few issues 
with Mint. Um, again, this is more of a stopgap distro until I get around to installing Chakra, which I intend to do this weekend. So I'm not looking at it as a point of a review, but I found quite a few uh, glaringly 